So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral by making the given substitution. You see for the constant of integration. And we're given the integral of cosine of theta squared times sine of theta times d theta. We're told that u is equal to the cosine of theta. So let's just write cosine of theta out first, our u. And what we're going to want to do is take the derivative of this, so which is just going to be du, to use the derivative of u. So the derivative of the cosine of theta is just going to be minus sine of theta. Right, you should know that. And then what we do is we add a dx on after. So du is going to be equal to the derivative of this times dx. Then what we do is we solve for dx. So we divide both sides by minus sine of theta. We'll get dx is equal to du over the minus sine of theta. So now we got this. Let's rewrite our integral here. So we have the integral of cosine of theta squared, right? This is basically the same thing. But what we're going to want to do is replace whatever u is with, uh, or whatever cosine of theta is with u, right? So wherever our u is, we just replace it with the actual letter u. So we replace this with u to the 12 times the sine of theta. And I accidentally wrote dx here, but it's supposed to be d theta, right? Because we're actually using the variable theta, just out of habit. This is actually d theta. And then, so what we want to do is replace our d theta with what, what it will be solved for. So it's going to be du over the minus sine of theta. So when you go ahead and do that, uh, these should cancel, right? Because if we divide this and this, these are going to cancel. And then we have a minus sign here, so we got to bring that back out front. So this is just going to be equal to minus u to the 12 times du. So now we got it like this. What we're going to do is find the antiderivative of this function right here and then just replace u with cosine theta. So we have u to the 12 or minus u to the 12. We're finding the antiderivative. So it's going to become u. We add 1 to our exponent, u to the 13, divide by 13, and then we have a minus sign out front. So it's just going to be minus 1 over 13 times uh, u to the 13. And then we got to add plus c, right? Because this is use c for the constant of integration. And whenever you take an integral, you got to add plus c, or antiderivative. So now all we got to do is replace u with what they told us u was, right? so cosine of theta. So minus 1 over 13 times u, which is cosine of theta. And then we're raising that to the 13, and plus c. So this right here is going to be your final answer.